How would you uh, gauge uh, what we just heard uh, in Netanyahu's response to Senator Schumer? Well, I guess the question is, how many times can he lie in such a short clip? Uh, you know, complaining that it was inappropriate for an American official to intervene when he does it all the time, and indeed this past weekend said that he was rooting for Donald Trump, uh, is, of course, hypocritical. Uh, him saying that the majority of the Israeli people support him uh, is ludicrous at this point. Uh, if the majority do not support his war plans, uh, and he has a tiny, tiny rating uh, in terms of his political future. Um, and, you know, he was trying to make a point uh, that the American, you know, people are behind him, and they're not. And I think the Schumer speech indicates just how far um, the base that was traditionally supporting Israel has moved away from this Israeli government because it has been so odious and brutal. Uh, Peter, uh, for people who have been watching this a long time and watching these, these uh, people in the center of this drama a long time, uh, Senator Schumer was I don't know, somewhere at the bottom of my list, uh, of not on my list, of people from whom I could expect a speech like he gave on the Senate floor last week. Right. When it comes to foreign policy in general, and Israel in particular, Schumer is on the right end of the Democrats in Congress. Remember, this is a guy who opposed Barack Obama's Iran nuclear deal in 2015. And I think the most significant thing that Schumer said in his speech was not his call for Netanyahu to go. It was that he said that he was open to the U.S. conditioning military aid to Israel. That is a huge shift. Before this war started, only one Democratic senator, Bernie Sanders, was open to that. Schumer was now saying that this is now a widespread position among Democrats in Congress. The United States has not essentially conditioned military aid to Israel since the early 1990s. That's how big a transformation this is. And, David, uh, you would think that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu would be concerned about r repairing, preserving uh, relations with the United States in both parties. Uh, I, I don't see any effort that he's making to hold on to support in the Democratic Party when you see Majority Leader Schumer uh, go as far as he went last week. He, he made a bet nine years ago that he was going to play politics in the United States. That's when, of course, he went to the U.S. Congress around President Obama and has ever since essentially joined the MAGA movement within the Republican Party, counted on the support of the extreme right wing and evangelicals, and essentially turned his back on the people who have primarily been the support of Israel for a long time. So he's made a political calculus. Uh, I think it's the wrong political calculus. He's made the wrong military calculus here. And what he's seeing is not just the Senate, but this administration trying to move away from him, trying to constrain his behavior, using all the tools at their disposal, or at least now considering them, as Peter said, which is overdue but welcome.